You're listening to the Youth Creek Podcast on KHZ Network. Find us on Facebook at Decibel UNG Radio and find us on Twitter at Decibel UNG. If you like this episode, please leave a like and comment on our iTunes page at KHZ Network. And now for the podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Youth Critic Interviews, part three. So on this one, I am going to basically make the compilation of the two interviews I did for Summer Night at the Atlanta Film Festival. Um, For those who are wondering where are the other two parts, uh, they're all still on the KHZ network. Just look down. Uh, They all should be under the Avengers Endgame review. Just keep looking um, for the ATLFF interviews that I did. Anyway, here is the first interview I had done with Hayden Zip. Hello, how are you doing? Very nice. Good. So my first question is, how did working with Joseph inform your performance at all? Uh, how did it inform my performance? Yes, like what notes, like how, like rehearsal, like how did, in specific ways, like how did it help oh. inform your performance? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Um, well, it was very, very, it was very laid back and there was barely any, any rehearsal. Like we were trying different things on set um, and we got to like improvise a lot which was a lot of fun which is like an actor's dream you can just kind of show up and you play right yeah i mean so um yeah no i I had a lot of fun it's very easy nice so with so in that regard how was the shoot did did you so you mentioned you didn't have a whole lot of rehearsals so did that impact the performance at all because you know some people like to rehearse and then others don't what for you do you like well, more? Well, I, I do. I, I actually believe that there is such thing as over rehearsing, and oh, everything okay. becomes like too rigid. You right, know what I mean? Too structured. Yeah, yeah. Too, but like, but it's not like it's not like don't rehearse. Of course. I mean, you do oh, enough that you're like, okay, I got it. You know, you understand where the scene's going, and you just kind of show up and you play. You know, you let things happen. You know, so like we, me and like most of the cast, we just got together ourselves and we rehearsed on our own time. Um, and we showed up, we were prepared, and we just delivered. So, jump me on to that. How did you and the actors like form a chemistry and bond? Well, we were all staying at the same hotel, first oh, of all. Helps. That really helps. And um, they had like a like a bonfire area, like a literal bonfire. Right. So we were just sit around it and like barbecue, and nice. like you know have s'mores. Like you can't bond more than that like that it was it was great yeah that's yeah you can't do better than that um and i guess my last question is how did how does the how does the film itself or actually how would you pitch the movie to just a random person um i would say you know if you want to have a good time you know if you're into like really good coming of age movies and you love music show up and watch it why not awesome thank you so much thank you, thank much. you so much very much all right all right and here is my interview with the directors and producers joseph cross and producer audrey tomasini and my first question is uh how did you balance when i know you did, didn't i know you mentioned earlier you didn't write the script how did you and jordan actually both of all of you how did y'all balance crafting a personal story but also making it universal i mean i think a lot of that like audrey was saying is pace uh i think a lot of it is just finding the real the reality of what's really happening with these characters and then letting that blossom i mean a lot of it is casting too you know and every time we cast somebody i would go in and tweak the script a little bit uh especially like when we cast donnelly um you know and you just sort of try to figure out how to make it feel really honest so in so in that regard what notes did you have for the actors when you brought them on and like what did you have for them to get into the character yeah so i mean when i brought people on um you know you do so much of the work just in casting the right person and then hearing their take on the role and hearing their personal experiences that might inform that and then I would sort of try to massage the script to get there and you know certain scenes as written just played great others we got there and they weren't quite as good and we started messing around and then other ones like you know there were a couple scenes where we were just 
writing, you know, in the room next to where they were lighting. Like, you know, I'm just thinking like this scene is not working and why? And, you know, we would just sit in the and figure that out. So, uh, in, so another fun question, how long was this in development for in the production cycle? How long? Two years. Two years, yeah. Wow. How did y'all get started on getting the movie made, essentially? Um, our producing partner, Tara Ainsley, was very instrumental because she was the one that kind of helped us, you know, zero in on Georgia as being a place we could shoot it and actually do it for a price um, and, you know, got some of the investment in there for us. So that was really, you know, you need the money to kind of get it going. You can have the everything ready and have it cast, but if you don't have the, the financing to get it made, you know, we're an independent film, of course, so we're not going through a studio. Um, so that's really what it took. The time was mostly just to, to find, you know, yeah that part of it and then um, I was you know working on casting uh, out of LA Wow absolutely people don't quite understand that that's the longest part of making a movie is that you have to look for funding you have to look for you know all that stuff so so in that regard you know how long did it take to even film the movie then if uh, the, the movie itself we shot in 19 days 18 and a half days 19 days nice that's quick it was really fast. <laughs> It was tough, and I think we had four weeks of prep. Wow. So <laughs> it was really fast, yeah. And then I think we did, we, we cut the movie in seven weeks. Yeah. yeah. Wow, like, you mean, like, score and all, or just... No, no, uh, no. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, most of it is, you'll see in the movie, it's, like, almost all source music. So it's all pretty much soundtrack that the characters themselves are listening to. So that was all pretty much built in. And then Dan Creasa, who did our score... He was really tasked with building on that and making it feel like this is music that's being played, but I could tweak it a little bit to make you feel this way or that way, you know, different moments. All right. Um, awesome. So, yeah. So that's it. All right. Awesome. Well, one more question. When does the movie come out? July 12th. Awesome. Thank you both. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you both. Good Thank luck you. tonight Thank and you. have a wonderful evening. Thanks. All right. That will conclude everything for the Atlanta Film Festival interviews of 2019. Thanks, everyone, for listening. You can find more interviews again uh, on KHC Network at khcnetwork.podbean.com. Also, you can follow the sh more youth critic-related stuff on that same website, and you can also follow me on Twitter at MovieKale. You can also follow the youth critic at the youth critic on Twitter, and then you can also follow the channel that distributes this podcast at KHC Network. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll be back with you more with more youth critic related content. <laughs>